And this is why our marriage is successful. Because I said to my wife a long time ago, I said, hey, we got to work just as hard at our marriage as we do at our money. If you don't work as hard at your marriage as you do at your money, you're going to have a lot of money and no marriage. That's a true story right there. So there are times where we got to schedule it. I'm like, babe, um, so uh, how tired are you? Wink. She's like, all right. I'm like, okay, I got one more day on this on this show. But I tomorrow do, night, I'm like, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, night I'm done. Okay, I, I got or, you. Or, I'm going to handle that. All right, listen. We can do this real quick. Let's go. Cause I gotta go. This is, cause I got I gotta go. This is we got you. this is for you. We got ten minutes. This is just for you. <laughs> this is just for you. I'm like I'm you okay with that. Like, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Let's go. And <laughs> hey, that that keeps a hey, 21 years. Yes. So wait, that said, you know, one of the things I asked you after that was you were talking about working as hard at your marriage as you do at your money, as your money. Yeah. And and for you, that was sex, specifically like getting on the same page Not about just. that. No, 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 I know, but okay. that was sort of like that was a that was a high priority yes. for you yes. individually. And so what I want to know from each of you is like what is your thing that like you want the other person to make a priority. It, it can be sex. It could be you know you know being more vulnerable. But what is your thing that you want? I just want you to pay attention to me. What? The hell? What? What'd you say? Pay attention to me. Uh, pay attention to you like what, dear? <laughs> I just I just want you to. <laughs> <laughs> just like, I pay attention to you. We're all paying attention. We're all paying attention. I just I just like like here's the thing. You all are nice and all, but I don't give a shit about y'all. Like, I, I just care about her, and I just want to be able to hang out with her, and, like, we're busy, and we've got kids, and TV, and blah, 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 but I just want to, for you to pay attention to me, and for us to, you know, hang out with nothing but us. All right, I'm calling y'all tonight to make sure. Uh, tonight? I'm like, Cody, what's, yeah. you pay, okay. I will plan a date. Yeah, that got real right there. Yeah, I will plan a date. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Do you want to go? No, you can go. Uh, sex for me probably is the best, uh, most important thing. <laughs> when I was watching that clip, I was like, I could work with, give me 10. Y'all give, give you three. You don't even need the whole 10. I'll give you seven back. I'll give you seven back. Uh, <laughs> I think, because uh, <laughs> the way it works, when we, we say I do to you and you alone, you get all that energy. You know, I, there's, it can't be spread apart. We're not dating, none of that stuff. It's all you, baby girl. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need a lot out of you. You know, I'm gonna need you. Hey, it's gonna be a long night, eh, man? we give you 36 carries. We're gonna run that ball down our throat, you know? So um, I think what has changed for us is, you know, I, doing stand-up comedy and traveling so much more, that changed for both of us, sex-wise for me and vulnerability. Vulnerability-wise for her, what I realized is what, what, what happened when we were young and married, when I was at home every single day, come home from work every single day, that's changing when I'm only home three days a week right. and I'm gone three days a week. And being, you know, being in hotels four or five, you know, three or four nights a week, I'm like, when I'm home, I'm coming straight to you. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. And I'm going to FaceTime you on Saturday night when the kids are sleeping. Try, show me a little something before I go to bed. Just, look, just a little piece of just, ah, you know, just to hold me over. I don't need the whole thing. I just need a little, you know, a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich, if you will. You know? <laughs> so, uh, and I think also as my, um, as my career grows and there's, there's more uh, notoriety, uh, I, I need to be grounded with you and, and humble with you just so that door that can be ajar can remain airtight, sealed. You know yes. what I mean? So, because other people, like, people always ask, like, about cheating and this and that. And, like, I, I always say it's the people who are married responsibility. Like, I don't really trip about the people who, who are the person they cheated with because they didn't take the vows. It's up to me and you. We stood at that altar and said, I do. Those people were not there with us. So it's our responsibility to each other. And I feel like for us, it's about navigating that ever-changing things as our kids are growing, as we're traveling. Last two years, we toured together. This coming year, I'm going to tour without her. So that's three or four nights a week, every week for six, seven months. I'm going to need as much technology can do, you know, like when I'm home, amen, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, amen. <laughs> 
I'm going to need you. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have it. Got to have it. Now, Friday, Saturday, hey, Sunday, it's all you. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. This is a real... Now, see? Okay. It, it did get real. Okay. So, I always say, my job is to keep me out the street. Your job is to make it easier. Right? Because that really is what it is. Let me, let me paint it for you. When a... Sister, <laughs> Sister, si sister said, please. <laughs> Go on. Go on. <laughs> My wife and I, we got a three-day rule. Thank you, Jesus. And it, it makes me laugh. We've, I've never told you this before, but it's, a, it's hilarious to me. <laughs> when my wife realizes, oh my, it's day three. <laughs> And I can tell, like, it's a like, it's the last thing that she wants to do. And she's struggling with it. But my wife is a good wife. <laughs> and she goes over there and she like, we got two kids. So you know you can't do nothing without you got to go lock a door. There's only one reason to lock our door. Ah, come on in here. <laughs> to this day, whenever I hear any door lock. <laughs> I could be sitting there like, listen, listen, listen. Clack. <laughs> Somebody lock a door? <laughs> Who's locking doors around here? <laughs> that right there is a marriage saver, man. Don't underestimate the power up. You get further connected with your partner when you do that. And even my wife, we've spoken about this. It's like, look. You may not initially want to, but once you get into the, it's going to, it's going to be good, man. <laughs>